<laughs> Hello buddy, TK Guillotine here and welcome to another Transformers review. Today's review is going to be on the Battle Across Time Sideswipe and Maximal Skywarp 2 pack. Been a little bit of a wait, I apologize for that. I just got a lot of much more exciting stuff, uh, you know, like, uh, you know, Slag and Rekgar and Washmator, I thought all of those were very much worthy of coming before this set, but it is here now. Let's talk about this set consisting of Earth Mode Sideswipe and Maximal Sky Warp. Now, let's jump into this. I'm going to try and try and not spoil my opinion of this video before we get to the end, but let's jump into this. Let's start off with uh, with Sideswipe and we'll do Sky Warp later on. So here is Earth Mode Sideswipe and he is a very nice looking Sideswipe. I actually think that this figure kind of just looks like a uh, like a shrunken down version of the masterpiece. For one, I never realized on the Siege figure how dull the white was. If you look at the Siege figure compared to this figure, the white on display with the uh, with this sideswipe is so much better than the white on the Siege figure. If you look what I'm talking about here, the white on the Siege figure actually looks like dirty or something. I never had a problem with the Siege figure. I really do like the Siege figure. And even though I do like the Earth Mode one more, it's honestly, I'm just going to tell you right now, it's not because because of anything other than the fact that it looks more G1 accurate because I'm gonna tell you right now I actually think the quality right here has taken a step back so with uh, let's talk a little bit more about this though but getting into sideswipe here you can see he's a very nice depiction of G1 sideswipe like I said before I really do think he kind of just looks like a shrunken down version of the masterpiece the head sculpt is fantastic it is the exact same head sculpt from the siege figure right there uh, moving down to the torso you get that Autobot logo right there some nice silver for the headlights right there silver for that waist bit right there a little bit right there as well very 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 nice right there here's the back very nice as well obviously it's the siege figure if you have the siege figure you know exactly what to expect from this figure um but yeah overall he feels very 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 good uh so yeah that's uh pretty much i mean there's not really any other paint you got some paint there on the legs but that's pretty much all there is to it oh also the feet the feet are completely painted the feet are actually black pl black plastic painted white and it's kind of weird that they actually took the time to get the bottom here because uh yeah you're not going to see that anyway you, knowing hasbro you think they wouldn't paint that but whatever it is what it is uh there you have it that is sideswipe let's talk about some things with sideswipe now because i'm going to tell you straight up the quality has taken a step back Honestly, even just holding both of these figures in my hand, even just holding this, I'll take this out of here. Um, even just holding these two figures in my hand, the seed figure feels higher quality. It feels heavier. It feels nicer. Now, I claim no, I claim no... Like, I do not claim the idea that I know exactly that this figure is not as as high quality as this one. I do not claim that at all. They are most likely probably exactly the same in terms of quality. The plastic is probably the exact same. And it's just my the fact I've had this one for so much longer that's trying to tell me that this one is higher quality. But this one just feels a little cheaper. Also, the Siege figure was one of the absolute most solid figures in the WFC Trilogy figure uh, line. He has basically no tolerance issues whatsoever. His legs, his arms, everything is extremely solid on the Siege figure. But the Kingdom figure is a lot more wobbly. It's not as bad anymore. It used to be a lot worse, but I've uh, fixed it with some super glue. Um, super glue did help a little bit. It definitely did help a little bit because it was much looser before. And also, this torso piece right here refused to lock in before I used some super glue to thicken up the tab. If you see here, this torso piece right here, this would just pop off way too easy. Like, it wouldn't even go in place. Now, I have um, taken some super glue and thickened up the inside of that uh, of that socket right there, and that allows it to peg in now, which is really good. But before, this piece didn't even tab in. You could do it like this, and it would just fall right down, which is not good. So, if you get this figure, make sure you're prepared to do some super glue fixes on it before it can meet its before it can reach its maximum potential but once you have done that, I think you more or less have a Micro Masterpiece Sideswipe here. He looks fantastic. I've already said I think the, that he looks 10 times better than the Siege figure. The Siege figure does not look. Also, just like, just, you know what I said before with the white shoes, why they, uh, why they painted it white at the bottom? They didn't do it on the Siege one, so that just proves my point. Anyway, I just wanted to say that real quick. Um, but yeah, 
Uh, I I really do think that beside that the that the quality goes to the siege figure, but the look and the overall design definitely goes to the uh, the Earth Mode one. This one just just so vibrant, man. That red is so nice; it just pops out, and you have that beautiful white as well, which also just pops. It is just so much cleaner and nicer looking than the siege figure as well. Also, this blue on the back is extremely nice; really pops and is just absolutely fantastic. Um, yeah, this is absolutely an upgrade from the siege figure in terms of looks. Now, accessory wise, this is also an upgrade from the Siege figure because where the Siege figure just came with the, uh, with the, with the, with the, um, shoulder mounted rocket, you get actually the shoulder mounted rocket and the actual gun as well with, uh, Kingdom Sideswipe here, which is very, very, very nice. So that is absolutely a wonderful thing. You can plug it in right here. You can either plug it in straight like that and have it like that or personally what I like to do I like to plug it in at an angle so it gets that kind of angle that it usually had in uh in the show there so that's what I personally like to do and then although for some reason it just fell out although this is not doesn't usually happen. There we go. Um, and then you can take the gun and you can give it to him like that. I do like the gun. I do think the gun was a very nice thing to include with it. It is, of course, black, black, black. It is, of course, blast effect compatible. And if you would like to store it, you can, of course, just plug it onto the five millimeter port on his back right there if you so desire. So that is also very nice. Now, one thing I wish they had gone the extra mile with with this figure is in G1 sideswipe, while his arms were white, he had a little red plate on, uh, on the end of his arms and it would have been nice if they could have just hit that with some paint if they could have just given us a little a nice little white uh, a nice little red patch right there from the uh, from the uh from the arms there because this is clearly going for the most accurate g1 sideswipe period and it would have been nice if they could have hit that but overall i am fairly satisfied with this with the sideswipe once again to reiterate i do think the siege figure wins in the quality department but in the looks department i think that the earth mode figure uh definitely wins that the kingdom figure definitely wins so there you have Earth Mode Sideswipe, pretty darn solid. Now let's talk about Maximal Skywarp. Now this one is a little bit interesting. So here is Maximal Skywarp. He is obviously a complete retool um, with a new head. He is, well, he's not even a complete retool. He's literally just a repaint with a new head of Air Razor. And Air Razor was a very good figure. So obviously, overall, this is a good figure as well because Air Razor was a very solid figure. But... I do definitely like Air Razor a lot more than Skywarp, probably just because it's Air Razor, you know, it's a much more recognizable character. This character is from a show that I have not seen and I don't plan on ever watching, I'm going to be honest with you. Um, but his design is not bad. If you actually look up the design of this of, of Skywarp from uh, Beast Wars the Second, it's actually kind of a cool design, I'm not going to lie to you. And I don't so much mind having a figure of it, but, but... Here's the deal with this guy. In its class, in this configuration right here, which is the standard configuration where it's just a straight repaint of Air Razor with a new head sculpt, this is not doing it for me. But there are very subtle things you can do with this figure to actually make it a little more accurate to the character it's intended to be. And overall, in my opinion, just a little better overall. So first thing you can do is just spin the feet around just like this. Take the shoulder pads, fold them down just like this. And then the wings here, just push the wings in a little bit more just like that and just kind of have them go down a little further in to the wing there. You can see that they are kind of uh, overlapping in the wing there, and that kind of gives it more of like a caped look right there. And personally, I think that looks a little more accurate to this character, and I just think it looks a little cooler also as well. It kind of looks like he's got like a double layer wings right there. So yeah, with these changes, I actually think you have a much better figure on your hands here. I much prefer the way he looks with these because it makes him look more accurate to the character he's intended to be, and I think it just makes him look cooler, honestly. And then you can take his accessories here. He comes with the same accessories as Air Razor, these uh, little white versions of her little rock of her little wrist rockets. But instead of giving to hit these to him as wrist rockets, you could either uh, store them right here on his leg, which is where they're going to store in beast mode as well. So that means you won't have to parts form if you do that, or you can just have him hold them as guns. And honestly, they once again do the trick quite nicely as uh, as just little guns. So with this, you've kind of differentiated this figure from Air Razor a little bit, actually a little bit. Honestly, I think that this actually kind of looks like a different character now. Uh, uh, like a different figure now from Air Razor, you know, with these little subtle changes, which is very nice. So this is personally what I do. Obviously, if you get the figure, it will be all up to you. You can do whatever you want. But personally, I dig this. And um, yeah, 
pretty cool overall. Got the little eagle head right there. Nice white, uh, nice uh, painted white right there. The head sculpt is pretty nice. It's all silver in the end. Then you got the uh, eagle head up top, which is very cool. Nice black picked out for the eyes there, which is pretty cool. It is a faux forming piece, obviously, because you know the eagle head from the eagle mode is the torso piece. So yeah, they basically does have like he gains a second eagle head along the transformation. So yeah, there you go. That is uh, Maximal Sky Warp. Um, no question about it. The side swipe is certainly the standout of this set. I certainly don't think anybody's really going to be buying this set for uh, Maximal Sky Warp because... I don't know, the percentage of people who probably even know what this character is, is probably in the single digits. So, yeah, um, it's not a bad figure. I mean, Air Razor was a great figure, so obviously this is a great figure too, but definitely not taking the spotlight away from, uh, from Sideswipe, and certainly not to the same level as Maximal Grimlock from the Battle Across Time 2-pack, uh, but once again, I'm going to try and save my opinion for that. Now, one more thing before we get into comparisons in a second here, I do want to show that if you have Origin Bumblebee and you have the uh, the jetpack, obviously you can use the jetpack with the Sideswipe. This is personally what I do with this jetpack, because uh, yeah, I just really like it. Sideswipe always had his jetpack, and I like having it as well, although if you got the Centurion Drone Pack, which unfortunately I did not get, I was not lucky enough to get that set, um, if you got that one, then you have a much better, uh, then you have a much better um, uh, jetpack than, uh, than this one. But this one will do the trick if you only have the Origin Bumblebee. It doesn't look that bad. In my opinion. So there you go. I do believe that it's just about everything to go over with the uh, Battle Across Time 2 pack. Let's do our comparisons here. All right, for comparison, let's bring in the Siege Sideswipe here. Um, yeah, like I said before, the look definitely goes to Kingdom Sideswipe, but once again, I picked these two figures up, and this guy just feels way higher quality, and just is just just way, yeah, he's just way better. In my opinion, the C one just feels better. He doesn't look better, which is why I will be keeping this one on my G1 display, but I ain't getting rid of this one, because honestly, while this one can just stay on my G1 display forever, I'm going to be playing with this figure all the damn time, and this guy's probably never going to get played with ever again, because he's just nowhere near as solid and fun to play with as the Siege one, man. I don't know. There was something lost in the remold of this figure, man, and I, I I hope it's not there with uh, with Red Alert, too. I hope the Red Alert feels better, but uh, yeah, there you go. And here he also is with the Kingdom Mirage as well. And honestly, these two actually do feel about the same. I don't know. Maybe it's just because Mirage is uh, a lot skinnier. But this Mirage also feels way better than the Siege one. I don't know, man. I'm losing my damn mind here. But yeah, they look great together. I actually showed this one in the uh, in the Mirage review as well. So yeah, they look great together. And last but not least, here he is with his brother. And they look fantastic together. I never got the, the spin out in the Cordon 2-pack. I actually did want it, but I don't know. The thing is just too expensive, man. So yeah, unfortunately, I don't have that yet anyway. I don't know. Maybe I'll get it someday. But uh, yeah, those look pretty darn cool together. I, uh, I, like, I, like, I dig the way they look, man. I dig the way they look together. They look very, very good together in robot mode. So yeah, very nice. And as for Sky Warp, here he is with Air Razor right here, so you can see how they look together. And uh, yeah, it's the same figure. I, I cannot say that enough. It's the same figure. He's just got a new head sculpt. Honestly, not even the tolerances are fine on this one. He feels just, he feels the exact same quality as Air Razor. It's just, it's the same figure. <laughs> it's the same figure. And here he also is with Kingdom uh, Grimlock. So I mean, uh, yeah, Kingdom Grimlock. I guess that works uh, for that as uh, as well. So they also have that. And uh, here's Wingfinger for, I don't know, just other comparisons. There you go. There he is with Wingfinger. Here he is with uh, Generation Selects Exhaust. I don't know. Just give you some random stuff because I don't know what else to compare this guy with, man. That's, uh, the Grimlock is really the only one that really makes any sense. So there you go. Well, and Air Razor. Obviously, they're the exact same size as Siege Sideswipe and the built three gajillion repaints of Siege Sideswipe and uh, Kingdom Air Razor. So if you have either one of those figures, then you know what size these guys are. They're going to scale perfectly with all your other WFC Trilogy figures, all your other Studio Series 86 figures. I'm really starting to find this little part of my reviews superflu superfluous. So, yeah, uh, I think that will just about do it for these guys. Let's go ahead and jump into the transformation. I don't feel like I really need to explain what these transformations. Both of these figures have been out for a while. Both of these mold have been out for a while, especially the uh, the side swipe. So yeah, let's just uh, transform them real quick. And here we have Kingdom Sideswipe and Maximal Skywarp in their alt modes. Let's start it off with Scott with uh, Sideswipe here, because much more to talk about here. So here is Sideswipe's alt mode, and it looks really good. I really wish they would give the damn thing a spoiler. It would be really nice if they could actually give these damn Lamborghinis a spoiler, because they're supposed to have spoilers. But it is what it is. I'm sure it won't be long before uh, third-party companies put out some little things. So if you really want to get a spoiler, you can. Me personally, I don't really transform my I don't really transform my figures all that often. When I do, I usually just transform them right back into robot mode. So I'm not all that worried about it. Honestly, it doesn't bother me all that much. And uh, this other 
issue as well, which really should, which should be in the same vein, but honestly this one really does bother me, is this right here. This leg just does not want to sit level with this damn piece. You can see there's this massive opening right here. It might not look that bad on camera, but when you get this guy in person, man, if you look at him, you're gonna, your eye is just gonna get drawn right to this. You're not gonna be able to figure it to, to get it out. And maybe it's just my copy. I really hope it is. I hope that if you get this figure, it won't have this issue because it is the most infuriating thing ever. And I hate it. I hate it so much. I don't know why it bugs me so much. As I said, I don't even transform my figures that often. And when I do, I usually just transform them right back into robot mode. So I have no idea why this bugs me so much, but it does. And I, I cannot, I, I can't get over it. I can't get over it. I really hate that this does not line up flush with this. That is just really annoying, especially since it lines up perfectly on the siege side swipe so yeah there was just something lost in the translation between the siege figure and the earthrise figure so i mean the uh the earth mode figure so yeah uh the the lamborghini mode is cool i do like it it does look great next to sunstreaker um they do have some uh, some nice silver paint right there on the wheels was uh yeah it's paint. those were also painted on the siege figure as well i never uh never caught that but yeah really nice i like the blue i do definitely think the blue looks great it really pops on this guy so yeah really cool the autobot logo right there very nice got those same little black sections right there those don't really bother me i don't really have an issue with that got very very nicely done right here like i said it's really cool that they made this figure look so much it looks look so similar to earthrise uh sunstreaker because they're two different figures so they're two different fi they're two different molds but they both kind of look the exact same in uh in alt mode so that is pretty cool man that is actually a really really neat little thing and overall i do like this um he does roll extremely well very very nice just glides along the ground there um are these uh are these wheels pinned in or are these uh are these clips these two back ones are uh clipped yeah these are all clipped in so it's uh it doesn't roll as good as like um as like uh studio series uh fucking um I don't know what's a good example. Hot Rod, I guess. Um, I don't know. I was gonna say uh, I was gonna say Retgar because I love that thing, but that thing doesn't roll well at all. So I don't know why the hell I was gonna say that. Um, but yeah, very cool. I do quite like uh, side swipes alt mode, and yeah, the transformation's a lot of fun. I personally do find this transformation uh, a lot of fun, very satisfying. I just wish that damn piece would. Ugh. It's the only issue I have. Um, you can store his accessories as well. You have these two ports on the sides, on on, on either side. So if you would like to store these, you can. Although actually, I uh, I clipped off the peg on the uh, missile here because I didn't like it. Although I don't know, maybe it will still work. Yeah, it still kind of works. It still kind of works, even though the peg is kind of gone. But yeah, that that was mine. Obviously, if you get this figure, um, if, assuming you don't clip it off as well, which hell, you might, um then uh, you will be able to plug it onto the side there. But me personally, I just don't give two shits about that. So there you go. And if you want to also store the jetpack in this mode for some reason, you can just plug that onto the top if you want to. Whatever. <laughs> I, I hate I hate weapon storage where it just plugs onto the top, man. Like, why can't we get more stuff like Studio Series Slag where it integrates into the robot? Like, that was so perfect. Um, But yeah, let's talk about uh, let's talk about Skywarp now. So here is Skywarp. He is an eagle. He is a falcon remolded into an eagle and not remolded. He's really just repainted. So... It's not that big a deal, though. I mean, unless a fucking bird expert comes in, looks in your collection, and is like, that, that is a falcon painted as an eagle, blasphemy, then you're going to be fucking okay, I promise. It, it's really not that big a deal. You look at this, and it looks like an eagle. It really does. Unless you're a damn bird expert, you're not going to fucking care that it's a uh, that it's a falcon over an eagle unless you're just insane or, I don't know, just really picky. Or, I don't know. I don't know. You whatever the hell you want, but I overall do think that uh, that he looks good. He looks good as an eagle, and the air razor mold kills. I love the air razor mold. I think that the beast mode on the air razor mold is awesome. So obviously it's awesome on this guy as well. Can't wait for pterosaur, and uh, the paintwork is also very good. Um, on this one, I actually found his beak is a lot easier to open than on air razors. My air razor, I cannot get the beak to open to save my life, but this one, if I can get my finger now in there, I can get his beak to open. So that is uh, pretty cool. Now. Now, obviously, just like with Air Razor, you can store the little missile rockets, or for this guy, uh, little uh, laser pistols is what I'm using them for. Uh, you can store them onto the side there and the leg there. And honestly, you don't even have to take them off for transformation because you can literally just transform the leg back in to that, and it doesn't even have to parts form, which is really cool. So, yeah, that is just about everything to talk about with the uh, with the Kingdom Maximal Sideswipe here. I'm, I'm Skywarp. Um, if you have Air Razor, you should know just about what to expect with uh, with this figure. So, I'll give you guys some vehicle mode comparisons.
Alrighty, and for comparison, as usual, starting off with Sideswipe, here he is with his brother, and yeah, they look fantastic together. I think that one thing about this figure that is really great is how they've made this figure look so similar to uh, the Earth Mode Sunstreaker, but it's, you know, they, they, like, these look like remolds of each other, but they are completely different figures. Like, both of these figures transform completely differently and are completely different robot modes. So yeah, really cool that they did that. Uh, I really, really like that. Um, I do kind of wish I had the, uh, they did, they did spin out in Tiger Track, which were like the inverse of these guys, which is like how they were in like Diaclone days. So I don't know, it'd be really cool if I could have those, and then, uh, you know, Cordon and Red Alert as well would be really cool as well. But unfortunately, I do not currently, maybe someday, maybe someday. I do want the Cordon and spin out set, so. I don't know, maybe someday, but they have that. For another comparison here, actually, let's bring in, uh, here's uh, Bumblebee as well. Here's Netflix Bumblebee as well, so you can see how he looks with that. And here he is with Exhaust, just because I freaking love Exhaust, man. Exhaust is so good. Like, I, I don't know. I just love Exhaust. He's, he's like one of my favorite. He's like one of my favorite WFC Trilogy figures. I'm going to be honest with you. He's just really good. And the final comparison, of course, is going to be with the Siege figure right here. Now, the Siege figure. This just sits so much flusher on the Siege figure. Honestly, like, yeah, there is still like a little bit of a gap there, but like with this one, like this thing is not stable. And you can just move it out, but with the Siege one here, it actually is a lot more stable. Like, I can bring it out and it'll just kind of flip right back into place. So, I don't know, man. I just think that there was something, something was lost in this. Like, the plastic they used or something with this kingdom figure over the Siege figure, there was just something, something lost here, man. I don't know. Like, even this, like, honestly, just looking at this plastic, this plastic feels better, like, looks better and looks like it feels better and is more durable overall. And it is. And this one just feels cheaper overall. So, I don't know, man. That's just my thoughts. That's just my take on it. You know, leave all your thoughts. I don't know, man. And for uh, Skywarp, here he is with, uh, here he is with, with, uh, what's your name? Fangry. Here he is with Fangry right there. So, there you go. I am not transforming Air Razor to, just to compare him with uh, with Skywarp because they are the exact same figure. So there you go. They have that. And here is here is Exhaust once again, just so you can see how he looks with a standard deluxe class car transformer. So there you go. And um, yeah, that's, that's all I got. Once again, I'm not transforming Air Razor just to compare him with the exact same figure. Oh, you know what? Though? Here's a fun one. Here he is with Skywarp. <laughs> there he is. Maximal Skywarp with the real Skywarp. You know, like uh, th this is Skywarp. This this is not Skywarp. This right here. This is Skywarp. This is Skywarp. This is what peak Skywarp looks like. Not this. This. And with that, we enter the final thoughts on the Battle Across Time Kingdom 2-pack with Earth Mode Sideswipe and Maximal Skywarp. Let's start off with Earth Mode Sideswipe here. So here's the deal. I like this figure. This is my new definitive Sideswipe. But I genuinely think that the quality on the Siege Sideswipe is out is just way better honestly it, it just is better like the sea size wipe doesn't have the problem in vehicle mode where it doesn't want to line up the leg the, the joints just feel great honestly i know you all think i'm crazy right now if you have if you like if you like if you don't have both of these figures in your hand, you think I'm crazy right now. But dude, this guy holding both of his accessories still feels lighter than this guy. I swear to God, there was something lost in the translation between from this mold into this one. Maybe it's just because they, you, they used this mold like 17 gajillion times, but man, there is something lost here. The magic of the Siege Sideswipe, which I absolutely love this figure, is not fully captured in the Kingdom Sideswipe. And honestly, I really just think I'm going to be using this Sideswipe as a great G1 Sideswipe because look at this guy. He looks like a Micro Mastery Sideswipe. But you pick him up, he does not feel anything like a Micro Mastery Sideswipe. This guy feels so much better. So, Here's the deal. If you just want him to put in your display, to put him on your G1 shelf, he's going to do great for that. But unfortunately, to play with him, like, this guy just does not, he doesn't, he's not that great, honestly. If you want to play, if you mess with your Transformers and you don't just leave them on the shelf to look at them, this guy, honestly, just stick with your Siege one. I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. Like, I know I might get some hate for this, but... I just think the Siege one is way more fun and it's just higher quality overall. And yeah, that's that's what I genuinely think. So he's a good looking Sideswipe. I, I do like that they gave him the extra gun. That is just a great move right there. But I swear to God, there was something lost in the translation of this figure, man. So that is my opinion on on Sideswipe. Let's talk about Skywarp. Um, Honestly, I have no, I don't really have any real thoughts on Skywarp. If you like Air Razor, you'll like Skywarp. That's all I really got for you. I have not found much about this figure to really talk about besides the fact that he's just Air Razor. Air Razor is a great figure. I love the Air Razor figure, but this is the same figure. Um, it, it really is. The only thing that's different is the head sculpt, and well, honestly, it barely even looks different. Like, at first glance, you probably would think it's a repaint, so... Yeah, I don't know. I just don't have much to say on Skywarp here. I don't know anything about the character. I do think the design is cool. I think the figure's all right. But uh, certainly not what I bought the set for. I certainly bought it for the Earth Mode Sideswipe. But, I mean, it is what it is. It's just Air Razor. So if you have Air Razor, you have this figure. There, there you go. Um, with that, let's lead into my final thoughts, which I'm sure you guys can are, are going to think... Okay, the final thoughts on this is very mixed, is what I'm saying right here. Here's the deal. Do I like this set? Yes, I do like this set, because I like the Earth Mode Sideswipe, and he looks really great on the shelf, on the G1 Autobot shelf. But honestly, 
So did the Siege, and it really wasn't hurting all that much, and I'm just gonna come out and say it, I do regret buying this set. I do regret it. While I, I've done, the damage is done, I've already paid for it, and I have it now, so I'm, I'm fine with it, you know, I do like this figure overall. But if I were given the opportunity to go back in time and stop myself from pre-ordering this set, I would probably do it, honestly. I probably would do it, because I... When I pre-ordered this set, it was the same price as the other one, the the Maximal Grimlock and Mirage 2 pack. It was the same set. It was the same. It was the same cost as that. And that set is a Voyager and a Deluxe. But I wasn't worried about it because I thought that they were going to be worth it. I thought the sideswipe was going to be awesome. I thought the quality was going to be fantastic. But it's not. The quality is not there. So basically, what I'm saying is, I don't think this set is worth it. Now, the price has gone down. Unfortunately, that doesn't help me because I already paid the fucking, I already paid the fucking full price for it. But the price has gone down since uh, the pre-orders went up for it because both of these sets are magically still available. Um, so yeah, at the current price that this set is at, which is about fifty bucks. It's not bad. If you really, if you don't have the Siege Sideswipe or the Kingdom Air Razor, um, then yeah, this set is great because it'll get you get, it'll let you get this mold and it'll let you get a, uh, and it will let you get a fantastic Sideswipe for your G1 Autobot shelf. However, if you already have Siege Sideswipe and Kingdom Air Razor, I do not recommend this set. I am just gonna taste straight up. If you already have both of these molds, I would say to steer clear of this set and uh, definitely go with the uh, the battle the uh, the Maximal Grimlock and uh, and Mirage because in my opinion that set was exceptional and I've only grown more fond of that set as it's come on. I absolutely love 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 Maximal Grimlock. I love this guy. I've been playing with this guy so much. He is so great. I love Maximal Grimlock um, because I love the Dinobot mold. But honestly, I just I just dig this guy, man. I love that head sculpt. I love the colors on this guy. There is something about this figure that I just dig and the Mac and the uh, and the Kingdom Mirage I thought was a just a straight upgrade from the Siege and honestly that one had the it had the opposite problem of this sideswipe where this this Kingdom Mirage feels about ten times higher quality than the Siege than the than the Siege Mirage so I have no idea man I'm completely at utter loss for words with this set so. I, I, yeah, that that's pretty much all I have to say. Basically, if you if you if you're looking at this set, you don't have either of these molds. It's probably a fine set. You probably will be satisfied with your purchase. But if you already have both of these molds, honestly, I can safely say that you're not missing much with this set. And between this set and the Maximal Sky War and the Maximal Grimlock and Mirage set, I honestly don't think there is any contest whatsoever. The Maximal Grimlock and Mirage set is about three times better than uh than this set is so let's go into our so let's get into the final rankings of these guys these are both s tier molds but there is something lost in the transition between the siege and the kingdom and for that i'm bumping this down to an a minus because i just don't want to play with this guy man i would rather i would rather leave this guy on the shelf and go over to my little storage bin over here and get this guy out than play with him before i ever play with this kingdom one again because he just doesn't feel anywhere near as satisfying and anywhere near as good he looks really good though so there is that and he is fun to pose and he's good and i like that they gave him the accessory so a minus for him Skywarp, honestly, he's really the exact same figure as Air Razor, and Air Razor is an S tier, so it doesn't make any sense, but I'm gonna also give him an A minus, even though Air Razor is an S tier, because I don't know, I just don't, I don't really feel much from picking this guy up. Air Razor is fun and dynamic to play with, but for some reason, I picked this guy up, and I'm just like, he's cool, yeah, I'll, you know, he's, he's cool. That's all I really got, so. There you go. Uh, that that that's my final thoughts. Um, I apologize for this kind of more negative review. I don't like to be negative on this channel much, and I still like this set. But I don't know. I've already said everything on my mind. You know, everything I've everything I wanted to say, I did say. And if I just keep going, I'm just gonna keep repeating myself here. So there you have it, everybody. There you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave me, leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. What do you think? of this uh, of this two pack with Kingdom Sideswipe and Maximal Skywarp. I really would like to know what other people are thinking of this. Am I the am I on an island here? Am I on an island here? Hey, if you love this set, if you love the set, you think I'm out of my mind, let me know. I would be very curious to know uh, your thoughts. Do you think this set is miles better than the Maximal Grimlock and C and uh, and Kingdom Mirage? Uh, let me know all that as well because personally, I just don't think there's any contest between these two, but I am curious. I am actually curious. So leave all your thoughts in the comment section down below and uh, yeah, they have it. So there you have it, everybody. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, maybe give me a like and subscribe for more Transformer content in the future. The next review, um, 
I, I think is gonna be the the Studio Series uh, Dropkick and Bumblebee 2-pack, I think, unless I get something else. I do have the uh, the 86 Sharpticon on the way, but I don't think it's gonna be here anytime soon. Uh, I think it's gonna be another week or so before I get it, so... Uh, yeah, I'd probably expect the dropkick, but you might, but if you, if you see the next review ends up being the Sharktacon, uh, that, y you know why. So, there you have it, everybody, but it, I think it will be between those two. So, there you have it, everybody, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, let me know all your thoughts, and, I already said all that. DK Guillotine, uh, signing out.